It should come as no surprise to any of you that I love music, especially video game music. So what a better way to show my appreciation than with a review of a game that's a musical. <laughs> that's right, Rhapsody A Musical Adventure is, well, just that. It's a musical adventure. So Rama, or the Puppet Princess of Marl Kingdom as it's known in Japan, is a tactical RPG for the PlayStation, from Atlas USA and Nipponichi Software. This game was released four different times in Japan, 1998, 1999, 2001, and finally in 2008. This game was also released twice here in North America, once in the year 2000, and again in 2008 as well. The final releases were both Nintendo DS remakes. I'll get more into those later. So you're probably wondering by now, what do you mean by musical adventure? Well, it's quite simple really. Instead of FMV cutscenes, as tends to be the norm with RPGs, there are musical numbers, complete with full vocals. The fun thing about this is that you can choose whether you'd like to hear the original Japanese or the English version of the song. This is, however, dependent on which version of the game you're playing. In terms of actual gameplay, it's been cited that this game has ridiculously low level difficulty, and I would really have to agree with that, even when you're playing on the hardest difficulty setting. Doesn't stop the game from being fun, though. Between its cutesy graphics, cheesy plot, and not-so-tactical, tactical fighting style, Rhapsody tends to be a fan favorite among everyone who has played it, making it a bit of a cult classic. Just how cheesy can the plot of a musical RPG be, you ask? The game centers around Cornette, a girl who can talk to puppets and has a magical horn that grants wishes, and Karuru, a puppet who has the heart and soul of a human and is also Cornette's best friend. The majority of the game is spent trying to save a prince, who well, obviously Cornette is in love with, after he had been turned to stone by a witch who also has a crush on the prince. You see where I'm going with this now, right? Now, earlier I mentioned that this game was re-released on the Nintendo DS back in 2008. Unfortunately, the game had quite a few significant changes, much to the dismay of myself and its fanbase. The battle style, for example, changed from strategy to 2D turn-based, and Karuru actually fights in the DS version, whereas in the original, all she did was fly around the screen. Also, a few silly easter eggs like this one... Atlas, USA. ...were taken out, and you only had the option to hear the original Japanese version of the songs. Nipponichi Software America claims that this was due to localization issues. There were also reports of glitching in this version of the game, mostly freezing, and I can actually attest to that, because I have the Nintendo DS version of the game. I should mention that there is a sequel and another third game in this series. The direct sequel, Little Princess Maro Okoku no Ningyo Hime 2, takes place 12 years after the epilogue of Rhapsody, featuring Cornette's daughter, who she named Karuru, who was off to find her knight in shining armor. The third game, Tenshi no Present, Maro Okoku Mono Gatano, or Angel's Present, A Marl Kingdom Story, takes place in various times before and after and even during the stories of Rhapsody and Little Princess. The chapters in this game often address unanswered questions from the earlier games or provide further insight. These two games have so far only been released in Japan, but they have been fan translated. This sleeper hit and cult classic is among one of my favorite games of all time. It's relatively short, the game can be beaten anywhere between 5 to 10 hours, depending on if you're rushing through it or not. If you're going to play this game, I really suggest getting the original PlayStation release just to get that authentic feel. It goes for anywhere between 20 to 100 dollars, depending, of course, on the condition of the game. It's worth every penny though. And if you're at all an RPG fan, or a musical fan, I really can't recommend this game enough to you. Hey guys, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make, and uh, awesome news, you'll see something more with this game coming next week, which is all sorts of fun and exciting. Besides that, I just wanted to point you guys to a few other videos that will be around my face somewhere around here. I don't know how I'm going to lay this out yet. But I have my last LP that I finished, Suikonen, which you can find somewhere around here. And if you haven't already, you should watch the entire thing. There's about 40 episodes, give or take. Um, 46, I think, actually. Is that bad that I don't remember? Whatever. Anyway, also, I take part in a commentary podcast let's play sort of thing with Gherkin Man called Game Over Gherkin Man and you can find those somewhere. I'll throw a link somewhere. 
you should watch them because they're actually really fun and they're really insightful and we have a lot of really awesome people that join us and special guests who actually know what they're talking about. Um, so if you like learning about actual game stuff, like about the game, you know, like developing and stuff like that, then you should watch it because it's actually incredibly insightful. It's a lot of fun to record. We do it for you guys. So you should go check that out. Also, if you're at all a fan of Homestuck or just voice acting in general or webcomics or just fun shenanigans, I have a blog, an ask blog that I made with some friends of mine and we do Homestuck voice acting for this blog. So you should probably go check that out too. I will throw a link in the description as well as somewhere around here if I can link off site. I don't know if I can yet or not. Either way, go check it out. Follow us, maybe ask us some questions, or you can audition if you're a voice actor and if you like Homestuck. So there's a whole bunch of things, fun things for you to go and check out that I'm talking about right now that you really should go check out because they are a lot of fun. And I put my heart and soul into everything that I make. Same with everybody else. We all put our heart and souls into what we make. And uh, much, much blood, sweat, and tears were put into this, <laughs> among other things. Also, if you haven't already, take time to go watch my other videos. I do reviews kind of like this uh, with some other games. I have some fun things like pet peeves and another fun top 10 Zelda thing. So if you like that, you should go check those out. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. It lets me know to keep going. And also subscribe if you haven't already because it's a lot of fun and I would love to have you in my family.